All right. So, welcome back, guys. Um, here is my hair. Basically, I just conditioned it, then shampooed it. Because, as you can tell by the title of this video, I am planning on doing my Afroji treatment number two. Now, if you watched my last video, uh, then you'll know it's only been about three weeks since I did this treatment, and it says four to six weeks. Um, but my hair has taken a lot of damage. Um, it's not falling out right now as much as it used to, um, or shedding, I should say, but I do get a few hairs every now and again. So, basically, what I want to do today is just try to see if, um, the effigy treatment will work better than it worked the last time, because I didn't really notice too many changes, and one of the reasons was because my hair wasn't fully dried, um, when I had the step one protein treatment in. And you need, uh, you should start with wet hair when doing this treatment, so that way your hair can actually soak it up better, because even though you have water dripping from your hair, um, because it's wet, obviously, the protein treatment acts to suck all that in, and the water's just dripping out all of the stuff that's in your pores, so I guess that's why they say do it on wet hair, and that's why it works best, but who knows for sure. Um, but last time when I um, did my protein treatment, I did notice that um, the ends were very stringy before I used the treatment, and afterwards they weren't as stringy. And my hair felt a little bit healthier. I want to see if I can get it even more healthy. And if uh, a lot more of the shine will come back from before I bleached it. So let's get started. Alright, so um, first thing you'll need, um, no matter what type of treatment you're doing on your hair, whether it be the Afuji or another protein treatment, you want to start in a place where you're not afraid to get anything on um, your workspace. So I'm just doing it in my room because I don't really care if I get a little bit messy. I can always clean it up later if I choose to wish. Oh, also, um, the roots are starting to grow out again, which I am so excited for because I want to let my hair grow out to a good length, side note, um, for when I do my red hair. But anyways, um, the second most crucial thing you will need is your protein treatment and your choice of conditioner now uh like i said was my last video um a lot of people do say when they do this treatment um even when using the balancing moisturizer step two um it does still feel dry so they do a deep conditioner afterwards basically what i do is i take my little deep conditioning bowl that i like to mix my stuff in and use this uh keratin oil conditioner by spa Haas knockoff brand of the organics um and that's keratin oil like i said um and the african natural tendon one oil and i just mix them together until i get what i think is enough to cover my whole head and um unlike last time i will be using this treatment let me show you a little bit of what it looks like and basically, when I blend both things together, it just smells like a strawberry smoothie. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you, that's optional for, if you guys want to do that, that'll be your last step, though. Uh, second step is your protein treatment, though. And if you want to use your balancing moisturizer and then your deep conditioner, just a, uh, very nice, refreshing deep conditioner. Third most crucial thing, wet hair. You need... You can start on dry hair, but I wouldn't recommend it, just because they say that it doesn't work as well. It'll still work, but not as well. Um, so start with wet hair. I'm actually going to go refresh my wet hair real quick, because my hair is starting to dry a little bit, so I'll be right back. Now when I say wet hair, I don't mean soaping wet, I just mean damp enough to run a brush through. And as you can probably tell from my last video, I'm actually able to glide my blush my blush my brush through my hair um a lot better before i do the treatment than i did the first time after i bleached my hair right before i colored it because i colored it the next day after using the apogee treatment and it made my hair look 10 times better it took the color a lot more uh well a lot better 
than um, any other time when my hair took color. So that's a good thing. That's a good sign. Um, also, if you already have previously uh, color treated hair, it does say on the bottle that it is um, good. It is ideal for color treated relaxed or permed hair. So if you have any of those things, it's really good for you to use it because it preserves the color as well as your perm or your relaxing straightening treatment. Alright, so basically the next thing that I'm going to do is, this part is optional, but for me it just, it works a lot better. Um, and it goes a lot quicker, I guess. Um, I'm using a random soap bottle, and yes, it does have blue dye, but it's not really going to affect my hair, considering the fact that I already have a uh, purple and green colored hair. Now, um, the uh, protein treatment does harden, so the cap will be a little bit hard to get off, but I'll be right back. Also, it is very liquidy, if you can hear. Alright, be right back. Alright, so if you guys would like to do this next step, just open up your bottle. You can take the cap off if you want, because it does unscurl, and then put it in any choice soap bottle. And from here, you just basically start applying it. Um, you can use your hands or whatever you feel like using. Just make sure... Once more, that you're starting in a uh, comfortable workspace where you're not afraid to get it all over the place. Because this stuff is liquidy. It is runny. It is this weird liquid uh, thing. And also, some people, once more I will say again, like I said in my last video, some people does, do say that um, this protein treatment stinks a lot. And it does smell a little bit like garbage, but... You know, if you can't stand even the slightest, this isn't a good treatment for you. Um, because it does smell bad, just like with any relaxer or, uh, perm or any other type of protein treatment, unless you get one that smells like flowers, which is rare. I mean, the balancing moisturizer smells like it, so it'll take away that stench, but this doesn't really. Also, um, don't brush your hair when it's wet. Yada yada yada, like I said last time. If you if you guys are curious on how I did this last time and all the information, I will link that video below so that you guys can go and watch that too. Basically, you just want to douse your hair in this stuff. Um, it's made with hydrolyzed keratin, like I said last time. So it helps rebuild the bonds over time. This stuff does get messy, like I said. So if you're a messy person, this is good for you. Unless you don't like to be that messy. Or it might not be that good for you. Also, make sure you have a wide tooth comb or a brush of choice that is soft on hair. Because this stuff, when it dries or starts to slowly dry, it can become really painful to brush through your hair and you might start ripping your hair out and it's not something you might want if you want to have good looking hair which I'm guessing because you're doing this protein treatment or you're curious about it alright so I'm actually making a huge mess over here but it blends in with my floors because I have carpet floors um so it doesn't bother me all that much but you know don't get it in your eyes though. It's chemicals and it's not good for your eyes. You can lose your eyeballs. Just a forewarning. And I'm being serious when I say that too. Don't take that as a joke. Just get it all in the hair. Every last bit that you can. Cover just about every section of hair that you can reach. Try to don't go just about. Try to reach every section. I so said just about last time too, and that might not be why all my hair felt that well. Yeah, you know, just go all over the place. All up in them bangs too, because if you're like me, you probably worry about your bangs the most with um, straightening them when you have straight hair, or when I have straight hair, I mean, just say. Yeah, just get it all through. Massage it all when it's wet. Don't wait till it's dry because your hair will become crunchy and 
crunchiness is a good sign that it's all dry and that the protein took your hair. If it's not that crunchy, you might want to use just a bit more. But if it is at least adequately crunchy, it's good. I'm not sure if you can tell, but my shirt is pretty wet by now. Because this stuff is pretty runny. Alright, now basically, if you have an overhead dryer, use it. Um, put your hair up. Uh, but if you just have a regular hand dryer like I do, use that too. Because you want your hair to be as dry as possible. Don't just sit and wait for like three hours while it dries. I'm actually going to use a little bit more from the bottle now. To get my midsection. And like I said, this stuff is very sticky. So it's good to have like a spray water container or something like that for your hands or whatever. Very sticky. And make sure you coat your whole head once more. Now I'm just going to go blow dry it and just like last time show you what it looks like afterwards. I didn't manage to make my hair or my skin as messy as I usually do. And as I did the first time I did this treatment. But yeah, I will be right back, guys. Also, so I know when you're drying your hair, don't play with it. Just let it sit and move it to the hair dryer all around. Be right back. Alright, so um, one more side note. <clears throat> um, what I did beforehand, like I said at the beginning of the video, was I just basically started out with conditioned and shampooed hair. Let me say again. Conditioned and shampooed hair. I didn't condition my hair after I shampooed it. I conditioned it beforehand. That way, um, all of the dry spots of my hair would uh, take the conditioner in and use it uh, where it needed it. Um, and then I shampooed my hair, but I didn't condition it again because I wanted to let my hair and the pores open up more so that um, when I washed it out uh, with the after using the shampoo, it would take away all the spots where it didn't need uh, conditioning. Sorry, I got a piece of hair stuck on my head. Um, anyways, so right now, as you can tell, my hair is kind of in separate spots. Like, parts of it are connected to other parts, but it's not all one big connection. Um, and also, they're not all separate strands. They're, I mean, it's not like one single strand that you can just barely see. They're not like microscopic um, individual strands. They're strands stuck together. Um, and that's a good thing because that means that um, your hair is almost to the crunchy point or at the crunchy point. Right now my hair is almost at the crunchy point so I'm going to wait about 10 more minutes, give it another thorough blow dry and then uh, wash my hair out and use the balancing moisturizer. And then um, after I use this, I'm going to use my deep conditioner and let the deep conditioner sit on my hair whoop, for about um, an hour and a half to three hours, maybe longer, depending on what I'm doing today. If you're not doing anything at all and you want to use your deep conditioner, only let this sit on your hair for about um, five to ten minutes. It says three minutes, but I would do five to ten minutes just to ensure that the um, protein sat in your hair and that this um, makes your hair softer. Um, shave your legs, do whatever you want in the shower. I actually just got a shower, so I'm just gonna leave this in, go back after I'm finished watching TV for like 5 to 10 minutes, and then use, um, my deep conditioner. And for your deep conditioner, leave it in for as long as possible, even using the protein treatment, just to ensure that it coats every strand and that all your hair soaks up all that moisture. I do highly recommend this uh, keratin oil treatment as well as any oil that you want to use. Um, you can do a hot oil treatment if you want, but personally for me, I don't really like using just oil in uh, plain by itself because I did do some oil treatments before. I never really made a video on my oil treatments, but I did do oil treatments before and it was just too messy. It was like messy like this um, Apogee treatment. Um, so basically, I'm just going to leave the deep conditioner on for as long as possible. And there will be a part two to this video, obviously. Um, so I will link that down below too after it is made. Um, I'm going to upload this video first. And um, I will also link down below um, 
my part one and part two of the original Aphrodite treatment so that you guys can see the results and if you want, compare them to the results this time. The effigy treatment does really work though, because I have seen multiple videos where they're real people, obviously. And they're not sponsored by uh, the product company. And, you know, um, they've done the treatment. They paid the 20 bucks that it was. Um, and they also have bigger sizes than these. Um, they have, this is a 4 fluid ounce. They have an 8 fluid ounce and um, a 16 fluid ounce of this. They also have uh, individual packs of like this and this together and they're bigger. Um, they also have their own oil line. Uh, so check out these products. I am not sponsored by this company. I obviously bought these by myself and as you can see by the stickers I got them from my local beauty supply store. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say, guys, in this video. Um, in the next video, you will see my results. And obviously, my hair is naturally curly, so I am glad to see the curls just coming back. Just from this treatment alone, because the protein in my hair wasn't enough to sustain my natural curls. Um, and now the protein is coming back into my hair, and even though I hate the kinky curly waviness, it means that my hair is moisturized. Or I used to hate the kinky curly waviness, now I just like my natural curls, cause that way I don't have to brush them, I don't have to do anything to my hair, and it just naturally dreads to itself. Which is a pretty cool look throughout the week, especially since I don't have to damage my hair to get it to look the way, uh, to get it to look essentially to be nice. So basically, like I said, I'm going to leave this on for 10 more minutes after I shut this video off. Give it another nice, quick, thorough blow dry and wash it out. Once your hair gets to the point where it's completely dry, wait till it's completely dry, not almost dry like I did last time. When it's completely dry, then wash it out because that means that all of the protein took to your hair and it didn't... And that one... How am I trying to say? So that, um... When you almost wash your hair, not all the protein stays. So, wash it when it's completely dry and completely crunchy. My hair is still a little bit wet. Um, then wash it out. Leave this in for 5 to 10 minutes. Um, and it's optional to use your deep conditioner, but I do highly recommend it. Um, so, I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm sorry guys, this was pretty long, but there was a lot of information. Um, I took about... 5 to 10 minutes to dry it like this, and this is almost completely dry. So, I'll give it another go, and I'll see you guys in my next video, like I keep saying. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys. Love you. Have a nice day.